Hey guys, this is Pasta with Girl 11, otherwise known as Takesha or Nikki, and I'm coming with an update video for you. Um, still unsure as to what week this is, but um, it is. I'm still in my 18 months post-op, so um, I'll do some number <laughs> configuring and uh, adding and subtracting a little bit. Um, hopefully before I actually post this update uh, to you. And it's not really even an update. Um, well, I guess it kind of is. But um, I do want to talk about uh, something that I did a video earlier, but um, Jennifer, Jen Omai on YouTube, Jennifer Johnson on Facebook um, posted uh, something and I wanted to kind of go back and speak about it again because what I said in my previous video that I did this morning is that I wanted to do a video regarding uh, previews and newbies and how it feels to be uh, you know in that time frame that wonderful six month time frame and kind of gear something to those that are just starting out on this journey that are just learning more about either gastric sleeve or lap band surgery or dual dental switch surgery uh, learning about these new things uh, R and Y on my end but I feel like uh, we don't talk a lot about that when we are as far out as I am or even when we're you know six seven months out we don't really speak about our um, I guess our our love for how we were when we initially started or where our journey is now in regards to where it was previously um, there's not that much talk about it we kind of talk about the here and now which is good this is what you know that's what you want to hear you know where we are now how far along we're out in comparison to how far along you are within your journey and hey is that going to happen to me you know those type of things so let me go ahead and get to the numbers uh, my highest weight recorded was in October of 2012 and I was 256 pounds um, November 29th, I was 251 pounds. Date of surgery, uh, 2 and 12. Date of surgery, uh, December 19th, 2012, I was 238.8 pounds. Uh, last week, I came in at 150 pounds, and this week, I'm 148.3. And I'll post a picture um, of that, of my scale, what I did today. Um, so, uh, that's like a 1.7. Uh, pound loss, which is great, um, coming from 145, then like 154, then 150, and now back to 148.3. Um, it's good. I uh, can definitely see it in my face, and I can see it in, uh, you know, my clothes and how they fit. And so, you know, I look at the scale to kind of see where I'm at here and there, but. Um, more so I can really feel it on me and in my you know when I wear my clothes and in my face it's like that's if I'm gaining weight you can see it there so um, yeah so I'm really happy that um, I feel like this is more true weight I don't know if the 145 was a true weight because um, you know we had just started the Daniel fast Jamie and I had just started the Daniel fast of no meat no sweets and no breads and like I've said in my previous video um, or videos you know we haven't been on meat uh, since February and so really the no sweets and the, and the no breads were really something that we were tackling and uh, so that that you know drastic seven pound weight loss from like the week before when I was 152 could have come from that um, I know last week was um, when I did that update that previous week I was within shark week <laughs> or Tom so you know that up in my weight could have been because of that to that 154 and I did that that scale that I use when I gauge that 154 was um, a system called Higgy it's like where you uh, do your blood pressure and you sit on you know you sit down and do your blood pressure this was in Publix and uh, it, it counted me and this was at night so it counted me at 154 cool system but I don't know if that was really true weight so anyway um, so yeah what I wanted to talk about was um, and what she spoke about um, you know her lusting for restriction I don't know if I want to use the word lust I want to say she said that but I'm sorry if you're watching this Jennifer if, <laughs> if I got that wrong but um, 
yeah just I guess reflecting on how things were prior previews and newbies you know really take advantage of what you have before you and that is a new out um, a new lease on life you know we um, and and I say we as in those that have been out over a year um, look for that what you are going to encounter and that is restriction uh, we look for it because we no longer really have it um, some people do different things to kind of get it back like the five-day pouch or they restrict what they're eating or whatever but um, overall we don't have it as much as you guys have it and so that is the greatest uh, thing to have the greatest feeling to know that you can't really eat what you could eat before you know that restricting of your you know of your stomach saying hold up you know I can only take in two ounces I can take in like a cup and a half in one sitting right now so that's a scary thing to you know go from two ounces or an ounce sometimes to now going to a cup and a half depending on what the food is it could, if it's a slider food I can get more in you know that is scary um, and I can tell you that from experience that that is scary uh, the fluctuating in pounds you know you're gonna be on this road of constantly most cases constantly losing weight you know two to three pounds during the week a pound during the week uh, five pounds in a week I mean you're gonna be on this trek of continually losing weight I don't think I started regaining until like October of last year when I, and I think I did a video on that talking about regain but I didn't I never you know gained any weight I, I may have stalled I may have you know not well, no, maybe the summer of last year, but to any effect, I was on a constant roll of losing weight. And so you get further out, further out, further out from your surgery date, and you start to realize that I can eat more weight, excuse me, I can eat more food, I can, you know, drink more, um, and if you drink alcohol, I can, you know, do that more. Um, it's not, it doesn't hit me right, you know, at the beginning. It doesn't hit me so fast. I can kind of, you know, ease my way and drink more, you know, alcohol. You know, there's several different things that you can do more of. So the thing is to kind of counteract that. How do you, um, as you're thinking about it now, you have it in place that you know that, you know, after six months, after the glorious six months, that you're going to be able to eat more food, how are you going to be able to combat that? And so I think for, and I mentioned this last week, but I think for all of you that are going, that are starting off on this journey, you need to know that that uh, book that you get from your nutritionist or from your surgeon is your Bible. <laughs> it is what you need to cling on to. It is what you need to keep you need to have it on the refrigerator you need to have it in your room you need to you know put it in your car wherever to keep yourself in the know keep yourself uh, aware as to the things that you shouldn't be eating and the things that you should uh, protein first is not something that they just tell you just because protein first keeps you fuller longer um, it keeps you sustained you know if you're into eating rice, pro, I'm sorry, potatoes, slider foods, things of that nature, which you know, I've been on that track, um, you're going to be able to say, uh, okay, I'm about to be hungry, or that really wasn't enough food, I'm going to go back for some more, uh, or I'm put a, another helping on the plate, please. <laughs> you know, those are the things that you're going to be able to, to do, and not realizing that you're going to you know affect your body by doing those things and then you're going to gain and then you're going to see it creep up more and then you're not going to be able to handle it and you're going to feel like well what am I doing you know what am I doing I do a five-day pouch test but you're not the five-day pouch test is only good for that week if you don't realize that you have to go back to the basics that pouch test is wonderful I've done the pouch test I want to say twice 
done the pouch test twice. It was great for the week. Loss, you know, some somewhere between seven to eight pounds or nine pounds. It was excellent. But then you get out of that five day pouch test and you're back to eating like you were eating before because you figured, well, I've lost nine pounds. The moment you start eating regular, you're going to, you know, gain the weight back. And that's, that's what I did. I don't know if anybody else has done that, but that's what I did. So uh, I'm trying to make this quick. So you want to make sure that the things that you do early on stay with you. Uh, Aisha Grillen Begone on YouTube, Aisha Grillen Begone YT on Facebook is a wonderful, wonderful uh, example of sticking to the plan. You know, she still doesn't eat potatoes, she still doesn't eat rice, she still doesn't eat bread, to my knowledge. And so I admire her for that because I'm I'm not there. Like I'm. <laughs> I'm not there, which leads me to not being at my goal weight of 135 pounds. So, I mean, I'm closer today, but you know, you just want to make sure that the things that they give you in initially and the restriction that you feel initially, that you try to keep that and hang on to that as long as you possibly can. And that within those six months, you take advantage of those um, pounds loss and of you know your restriction and your the curbing of your appetite and all that goes in between um, life is going to change life life is going to either get better or worse depending on you know where you take your journey how you walk um, is where it's you know as far as how your outcome is going to be so you know there's people that have had surgery and haven't lost but 15 20 pounds so you're gonna have to figure out what it is that you want to do to go forward how are how is this surgery going to impact your life your life not the year that you want to lose the weight and then gain it all back we're talking about your life this is a lifelong thing how are you going to let this impact you impact your family impact your loved ones how are you going to do it are you going to stick to the rules stick to the guidelines to which your surgeon your nutritionist gave you or are you going to veer off and make your own path how are you going to do it so i leave you with that and uh, i hope that everyone has a great day today is thursday june 26 2014 and uh, 18 months out, 148.3 pounds uh, from fluctuating up and down in the 50s, back down to the 140s, back up to the 150s, back down to the 140s. You don't want that. You want to continually be on your grind, continually be on your walk within this WLS journey. Okay, so um, every walk is different. You know, I have chosen my walk and I'm learning more and more and more that I need to stick to the rules and uh, you know I can still do that being a vegetarian slash vegan some days <laughs> I can still do that um, but for you a new person coming into this game or a pre new person coming into this game how are you going to let this journey affect you what are you going to do to make it count all right guys Leave your comments below, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!